New information from the GBI is revealing what happened before the deadly shooting at Appalachie High School. 14-year-old Colt Gray is the accused shooter. He's currently being held at a youth detention center in Gainesville. Authorities plan to try Gray as an adult. He is accused of killing two students and two teachers and injuring nine others. The GBI says Gray brought a gun to school in his backpack. The AR-15 style rifle could not be broken down, but they say he hid it in his backpack somehow. Officials say right before the school shooting, Gray asked a teacher if he could go to the front office and speak with someone. When the teacher let him leave, he took his belongings and went to the restroom. The GBI says later he took out the gun and started shooting. Tomorrow, a viewing will take place for Christina Iremea. She was a math teacher at the high school. Students describe the 53-year-old as patient and caring. The viewing will be held at the Hamilton Mill Memorial Chapel and Gardens in Buford. On Saturday, loved ones will say their final farewell at the funeral home. On Saturday, 14-year-old Mason Skirmerhorn will be laid to rest. Funeral services will be held at the Jefferson Civic Center in Jackson County. The public is invited to attend. Everyone is asked to wear Mason's favorite color, red. Funeral services will also be held for 14-year-old Christian Angulo. Loved ones will say goodbye next Friday, September the 20th, at St. Matthew Catholic Church. That's in Winder. There will be a viewing at the church next Thursday. Funeral services for football coach and math teacher Richard Aspinwall are private. A celebration of life service took place over the weekend at the Flowery Branch High School football stadium.